Hello, everybody, and welcome to Trivia Tower, the fastest growing video game quiz on Patreon. I'm Ben Hansen, joined by Dan Reichert. The first time? Yeah, first time, but still, it feels like it's the fastest growing sensation. You know what? I like going into it with that mindset. That, that's, a, that's, that's a winner's mindset, Ben Hansen. Thank you. Uh, Dan Reichert, what are you most well known for, man? Uh. uh video games on the internet. <laughs> That's right. Uh, big Twitch streamer these days at twitch.tv yes. slash Dan Reichert. Oh, you're asking me for plugs. Yes. Yeah, the I, Twitch, so. I, I would direct people to the Twitch channel first and foremost. Uh, Dan Reichert, R-Y-C-K-E-R-T. Yeah, you've been streaming with Leo Vader uh, from Minmax, a bunch of Hitman 3 stuff, which has been very funny. So thank you for doing that. It's been very fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, Dan, people watching this on YouTube are probably wondering, what the hell is this? What is a trivia tower? What is this chat flowing by on the right hand Myself side? Myself among those wondering. <laughs> this is Trivia Tower. This is a trivia game where if you support MinMax at any tier, even the $2 tier, you get access to the MinMax exclusive Discord, which I understand people don't like Discord. Maybe they're scared of it, confused by it. You can just jump in the browser. You don't need to be that intimidated by it. Dan, will you tell them that Discord is nice? It's an easy, nice thing. It's a really good way uh, to do video game stuff, uh, community stuff, uh, all sorts of chats and stuff. I use it too. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And so if you support the interior, you get access to the Discord. The MinMax Discord is the friendliest place on Earth. And then we have a channel in that Discord, and that's what you're seeing on the right-hand side of your screen. This is going to be uh, where people are guessing. Oh, no, the gifts are coming out. Uh, mine's this is pretty friendly. I, I got a pretty friendly Discord. I think we might have some Venn diagram overlappers, and ultimately mine might be friendlier. Yeah, the point is, though, that this is the friendliest one, the MinMax one. So please come here to play trivia next month if you support us at any tier. And while you're watching this trivia round, if you think, these are easy, I know those, prove it by jumping in next month's sports at any tier. You can jump in that Discord. We're happy to answer any questions you have about how technically this works, but we'd love to see it next time around. Uh, we're going to do this like in the middle of every month is going to be the goal for, for Trivia Tower. Dan won't, Dan won't be here in the future. We'll have a rotating guest. And uh, let's see. Let's see how Dan does. I already got cut. <laughs> well, we'll see. Jeez. Maybe people will demand that you come back next month. Who knows? <laughs> uh, okay, so how this works. This is Trivia Tower. There are five floors to the Trivia Tower. Each floor has a different format of video game trivia. Dan, think of it kind of like the Price is Right games. We're going to have different mm -hmm. ones. We'll slot them in each month. We might switch to a different one, rearrange some, all that fun stuff. So people in the chat here don't know what's coming up, but it's going to be five rounds. Here's how it works. Wait, and so you get a car and two of them, right? <laughs> That's right. Well, you do get okay. fantastic prizes. Thank you for bringing that up, Dan. Uh, so oh. first floor, everybody is in here. If you're in the Discord, you have it synced to your Patreon account, you are in here. That's fantastic. There are going to be 25 questions in the first round. The first person to answer correctly gets moved into the next floor. So at that point, stop guessing <laughs> for the first round if you were the winner, uh, be cool. Um, so they move on to that next floor. So a couple rules here, uh, no acronyms for, you're gonna have to type out the name of this game. There's gonna be some debate, I'm sure every once in a while, but be cool, don't abbreviate things. If it's Shadow of the Colossus, don't say, SOTC. We won't count. I think any weird capitalization like infamous or any camel casing, I think has to be exactly accurate. We discussed this and that's the rules. <laughs> Not exactly true, but you know, we need to know what the hell you're talking about. So please spell things correctly. Um, also, no buddy systems for people in the later rounds. If you're watching this live, don't send them a message with the correct answer. Be a good sport because there's good prizes here. So again, there's five floors. First floor, second floor, which is going to be with 25 people there. There's going to be 15 questions in the second floor. Third floor, there are going to be 10 questions. Fourth floor, there's going to be five questions. Fifth floor, obviously, one question, and that person is the winner. The number one winner wins an Astro A50 wireless headset for the console of their choice. So thanks to Astro for shipping that out to the winner. I think that's very generous of them and very kind. Just reached out, uh, and they are very friendly, and said, yeah, absolutely, we'll do that for your community. So you can look forward to that. Um, but that's not it, because we have more prizes to give away, which are codes. So for anybody that makes it to the third floor, 15 of you will make it to the third floor. You will win codes from Devolver Digital. So we have codes for Carrion and Oliha, O-L-I-J-A. Have you seen this game, Dan? I have not. What is that? Um, it kind of looks like Another World or like Original Prince of Persia, a little oh, bit okay. like that. Um, gotcha. But I finished it this weekend. It is genuinely my game of the year so far. I know it's early, but Wow. You should really check it out. It's like four to five hours, 2D action platformer. It's really fantastic. Uh, if you make it to the fifth floor, five of you will make it to the fifth floor. We have codes from Ubisoft to give away. So you can choose between codes for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Watch Dogs Legion, Immortal, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Uh, and you can play on the console of your choice. Pretty good deal. 
good stuff. Yeah, so thanks to Ubisoft and Devolver and Astro for supplying the prizes for the first episode of Trivia Tower. Let's see other things. Um, oh yeah, these questions, you won't be able to Google the answers. Don't try. Uh, but the goal of Trivia Tower on our end is to make sure that this is ungoogleable, which Dan, <laughs> we were like spitballing for certain <laughs> categories. It turns out it's kind of hard. <laughs> Yeah, Google's got a lot of stuff on there. It's like a real big encyclopedia. Yeah, they don't quit. Um, but I think we found a way around it uh, with some clever stuff, hopefully. Are you all ready to start this trivia tower? Can this... I answer? <sighs> Great question, Dan. No, you can't. But how about when you think you know the answer, you can raise your hand, and then afterwards we can discuss it a little bit, right? Okay, all right. And okay. if I impress Astro enough, they'll send me a headset? I think that's the way that works. You really have to impress them, though, man. Okay, sounds um, good. And Dan, we should mention, if you make it to the second floor, which 25 people here will, that's that's the Dan Record floor, baby. That one's oh, going to be... There's some wild stuff going on up there. Wild stuff. Okay, here we go. Is this supposed to be like the Bruce Lee movie where he goes up the thing and fights Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and goes up the Tower, tower I, of Death I haven't or whatever? seen that, but yes, we're working on a licensing deal with that Bruce Lee film. I also haven't seen it. I just love that concept. <laughs> it's very good. Turns out, you know, we were debating like themes. John Carson, friend of the show, um, came up with the idea of like, oh, make it a tower because I was talking about like different levels. And then you start thinking like, Towers are really synonymous with video games. You start thinking about the famous towers Combat, in video games. Yeah, yeah. It's everywhere. So it's a good theme, I think. I'm happy with it. Uh, obviously, yeah. thanks to everybody that supports us on Patreon for allowing this show to exist. And uh, we wish you all the best of luck. Remember, there's a 30-second cooldown timer. So be cool with your guesses. Be deliberate. Is that the right word, Dan? Selective. Selective. Deliberate. That's yeah. it. All right, Dan. First floor. You ready for this, sucker? Yes, what do I have to do? <laughs> you have to crack wise with me, but don't oh, reveal hell. what the game is until you see the correct answer in the chat. Okay, and I don't say it when I think I know it. You can raise your hand. Okay, just to let people know that I, I know my stuff? That's right. Here we go, everybody. Okay. First floor, the game is Zoom Shot. This is what this is called. The way Zoom Shot works, we have 25 prompts. These are screenshots from video games. But here's a catch, Dan very zoomed in screenshots. The screenshot oh. will slowly zoom out. You buzz in by saying the name of the game, no acronyms, when you think you know what game it is. And if you get it right, then the wonderful Discord mods will move you to the next floor. Zoom shot had to be the name of a gun in an FPS between like 1998 and 2004, right? It feels perfect darky, but it's not literally perfect darky. Turaki, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to type the name of the game. Best of luck contestants. Here we go. Looking for the name of this game, everybody. It looks like a Xenomorph to me. Hey, I, uh... Cade Kong! Cade Kong takes it! This is Whoa. Alan Wake. That Holy was... Shit, how did we get it that fast? Isn't what that amazing? At? What it... the fuck? I can't... Okay, there's a van <laughs> now at this point. Oh, because of the crazy shadow monsters. Yeah, yep. okay. I figured, like, the beam of light would be a good yep. indicator, but wow. Yep. Killing wow, it. Nice. Cade, congratulations. Alan Wake, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. First so they have to sit on the second floor by themselves, uh, just talking to themselves for a bit? Yeah, they're probably going to lose their minds up there. It's lonely, but it's about to get less lonely. Congratulations. I want to make sure they're not doing nasty stuff on the Dan Reichert floor. I'm going to keep an eye on that second floor until more people are up there. All right, good call. All right, ready? Okay. Yes. Next screenshot. Dan, did you like Alan Wake, by the way? Not really. Really? What was that? Uh, the action was didn't feel good to me, and uh, I don't have a particular reverence for Twin Peaks, so that stuff didn't really do much for me. Um, yeah, I just, it did, I didn't know what genre it was. It wasn't scaring me, and the action was just a bunch of pointing flashlights and stuff like that. The puzzles weren't really doing much. Uh, just not super into it. Okay, great. But the rest of these games are all going to be good, right? Uh, I'm looking at the list. Oh, ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Hey, you're here. looking at the answers. You're still going to try and guess. Okay. I'm only going to answer wrong ones. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, actually, yeah. don't even do that because then you'll limit it, you know. To, well, you then just... I just won't look. I just won't know. How about that? All right. That sounds good. Okay. Okay, here we go. Second screenshot. Buzz in with the name of the game, everybody. Here we go. What could it be? And, you know, the Trivia Tower theme. That's, uh, is that Pixel Junk Eden? Hoods! Hood's got it. That is Mario Sunshine Hoots. H O O T Z. That is stunning that you what? got it that quick. Is that Penna Park? 
gonna keep going. That is. See. That's gotta be Pinna Park in the distance, right? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody is scared by chat. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. Congratulations for Jeez, getting that. That is crazy. Yeah. By the I... way, have you played Bowser's Fury? Uh, yeah, yeah. I finished that this weekend. I 100% of it uh, yesterday. I love that thing. I I like it. Like it's tough to criticize it because all 3D Mario is gonna be gonna be good. It's definitely my least favorite 3D Mario, but I mean that's that's such a well, tall it's not order. Like a mainline series thing. You can't I know. Compare it to your galaxies and sunshines. I was frustrated by a couple things with it. We talk about it on the Minmax Show podcast this week, or we're going to. We can we can dive into it there. But uh, yeah, it's it's cool and it's nice to see like a small team with a Nintendo experiment with something like that. Um, but I have a couple small hiccups. Um, okay, back to loving games. Y'all ready for this? Whew, oh boy. Uh, by the way, Adam, thank you for being a great mod and assigning people to the second floor. Let me know. Uh, ping me if your world is melting down, but hopefully we're getting it. Okay. They're too quiet on the second floor. No one's talking. <laughs> They're getting to know each other, hopefully, eventually. Okay, right. here we go. Next screenshot. Adam, are you joking when you say everything's on fire? <laughs> you need to let me know whether or not everything's <laughs> genuinely on fire. <laughs> Kidding. Killing it. Kidding, all, right. all right, that counts as his guess. Okay, here we go. Third screenshot. Hmm. Is that a water wheel of sorts? It's a spiky door thing. Holy God. Holy oh, God. That's a fast that is a fat, there. fat, fast chat. Okay, mm -hmm. hang on. Let's see what, what we that? got here. Is that no Kami? Okay, Dan's throwing out names of games. Um, not seeing it yet. Not seeing it yet. Oh, yeah. They should know that now. Come on now. There we go, right? Yeah, hang yeah, on. I had to, people got it. People got it. Yeah, I had to slow it down so I can scroll through to find actually who is getting it yeah. first. And of course, a lot of people guessed Ocarina of Time. A lot of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Zelda Adventures of Link. <laughs> they really nailed it. Uh, that is King Prometheus that got it first. Congratulations, King Prometheus, for guessing Breath of the Wild first. Oh my god, that flew fast. Have Ooh. you really talked about Breath of the Wild much? Um, I assume we've talked about it a decent amount. It's um, it's by far my favorite Zelda. By far my favorite game of the generation. I, it's always oh, confusing okay. to call it a generation. I don't know exactly where the Switch lies, but uh, sure. But it's still okay. your number one of all time, right? Yeah. Um, has that waver, wavered at all? Have you like gone back to it and tried to second guess it? No, I haven't tried to play it again. Uh, it's just anytime I find myself talking about it or thinking about it, uh, it I think it just hit me uh, in a way that no game has since I was like a small child, and that has not uh, changed at all when I think about it. Yeah, it's really something. Um, yeah. They say Ray Luaza got it first. That is totally... Oh, it's Ray Liotta. Oh, I'm sorry. The Ray Liotta's in here. Mm -hmm. He's ready to go. Um, I'm sorry if I missed that. Yeah, you can probably check it out. Um, and then... Okay, Adam says Ray Luaza got it. Thank you, Adam, for keeping an eye on that. Whew. All right, next one. You ready to go? Let's do it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. That is Dr. Rock got it. Congratulations, Dr. No, Rock. It's oh, actually just a Photoshop gradient. <laughs> <laughs> I thought people are going to be thinking that I'm being a little bit more tricky than I actually am, but congratulations to Docto Rock uh, for getting this one right, because of course, this can only be one thing. This is Limbo, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Boy, few games to me scream that like heyday of XBLA more than Limbo. Maybe like Castle Crashers, you know, or uh, Braid. You know, back when like XBLA would do those drops once or twice a year, like Summer of Arcade. It was like, oh man, I got to play every one of these. There, it was like a prestige thing, you know? Yeah, I was talking about that recently, I think on the MinMax show, maybe on MinMax Council or Patreon exclusive uh, podcast, but we're talking about um, Super Meat Boy Forever and just kind of what mm. a bummer it is. I think on a couple fronts, it's like solid, auto runner, cool, some good design. But at the same time, it's so sad to think of how hot Super Meat Boy was in 2010. And it seems like the turning point for Meat Boy, and it kinda, I always think of Meat Boy as like the peak of that era, right? Um, yeah. was when they got that new soundtrack. It feels like the enthusiasm for Meat Boy was just like a downhill slope since they gutted that original soundtrack, which is just incredible. Why did they, I, did, I was not aware of this. Why did they get rid of the original soundtrack? There was some falling out between Baranowski, who did the original soundtrack, and then uh, whoever was at Team Meat at the time. Uh, and so they got a, a whole new... legal thing or something? I don't know. I don't know exactly. Weird. I'd never heard of that. Yeah, so the new soundtrack, it's like, it's good. I forget who composed it, but compared to that original, it's like, you just can't, you can't touch it. I, I like the first one Ooh. fine. I never quite got the reverence for it. I love hard platformers and everything. I just, I don't know. I don't, didn't like the style too much on that one. Yeah. All right. Well, what do you think about the style of this one, Dan? Hope everybody's ready for oh. the next screenshot. Here we go. 
-hmm. What color do you see, Dan? I see Gatorade color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. A lot of guesses flying. A lot of people burning their shot early, trying to get into the second floor. Is that a urine sample cup? Uh, some sort of plutonium. Oh, oh, oh. Dan, shut up. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my god, there are so many guesses here. I, I'll tell you right now, I would have got this. Really? Well, oh, I, know, yeah. I know you I love, love this game. game. I know you love this game. It's a real good one. People waiting. I would love there to we go, Alex! Whoa, got it. Alex takes it. Congratulations, that is bully, everybody. Whew! I love the Killer lot of game. Goldeneye guesses, a lot of perfect dark guesses. It does kind of look like an N64 game when you're very yep. zoomed in on bully. Yeah, in there in the facility, it's got that area, the science area with all the beakers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations to Alex. You're moving on to the second floor, killing it. Um, nice I saw, weird screenshot to pick. Yeah, I thought that'd be a fun, weird one. You know, I, yeah. I'm a sucker for screenshots with UI. To spoiler, I didn't get too many of them, but I always like mm. that as like an extra detail. But that one was like, well, that's gonna be nice and deceptive, right? In that yellow mix. You know what I would have done if I was making this show? Yeah. Uh, I would have done something wacky like, oh, it's it's a uh, real real close on a Yoshi's eye. And so everyone's guessing all sorts of crazy Yoshi stuff and it zooms out and zooms out and zooms out real slow. And then, oh, it's the Yoshi sitting on the computer terminal in Twin Snakes. Dan, don't spoil anything coming up. I'm just giving you a good idea. That is a, that is a super good idea, dude. <laughs> Will you help me plan for next month's Trivia Tower? Sure, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, next one. Here we go. <laughs> Any ideas, Dan? Uh... Uh, I had a joke, but I don't want to say because I don't want to <laughs> go in people's, uh, influence people's direction here. Please don't. Oh my god, people are fast. Jade Cocoon. <laughs> I haven't thought of that in a long time. This is amazing. There we go. Come on, folks. There it is. Come on, folks. Adam Sandler's Pixels. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I no, believe. That's a lot of Galaga. I believe this is Page Side 826. Congratulations, Page Side 826. That is Galaga. Very impressive. Whew. Page Side 826. Congratulations. You're moving on to the second floor, buddy. Killer game. Holds up. Yeah, pretty solid. I don't know if you've played that much at the lake. It's always a, the arcade time is to play a bunch of games out at our lake and stuff. I plan on doing that a lot in the house as I'm going to get a very similar arcade cabinet as yours, and I'm looking forward to uh, having the, the score challenge games. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Adam wants to know what number we're on. We're on number one, two, three, four, five, six. That was six. So this is number seven, I believe. Adam? Okay, here we go. Next one. I was going to say, that's the Metroid colors there. A lot of people guessing. A lot of people guessing know. that. I don't know how I feel about it, Dan. Um, oh, my God. I am just... There we go. There we go. I saw it. The smack is the earliest I saw. Okay, hang on. I'm going through slowly here. Um, I'm sure you're right. Uh, I saw Hawkmont. H-A-W-K-E-M-O-N-T. And then in parentheses, Alex guess Half-Life. Congratulations, to Hawk Mont. Did your guy Are, guess it before him, Dan? I I trust you. You're scrolling and yeah. all that. I, I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. Uh, Although yep. Dr. Moose Milk might have it with Ooga Booga Dreamcast. <laughs> <laughs> he has that uh, copied and pasted. He's spamming it in most discords <laughs> that he jumps into. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Congratulations. That was a tough one. Somebody guessed Overblood 2. It does kind of... No. It does Jesus. feel overblood too y doesn't it? I can see it. I can see it. I can see a, a weird dude with a lightsaber in front of that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love that screen. I love the weird sparkles in there. It's a good yeah. Half Life screenshot. Nice and ambiguous. Yeah. Congratulations. That's where you push the shopping cart into the, the time portal thing, mm -hmm. right? Did you play yeah. that first on PS2 or PC? Uh, PC, but it didn't run well even like four years after the game came out. And I got a. Yeah, I, I always had shitty computers. I was always way late on anything PC. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was, I like that PS2 port. I remember thinking a demo of it and it was weird to huh. have that pivotal PC game on the PS2, but like, this is pretty cool. I just remember reading reviews of it and them saying like, it's like, ah, if you have to play it on console, this is the best way. And it's like, ah, I just didn't like the idea of playing like what was supposed to be a big classic game mm -hmm. in not the best way. And so I waited until I was at Game Informer and played it with Tim Turry and, uh, uh aced it. Awesome. Um, yeah. let's see. Smithy says, give us some newer games, old man. All right. All right, Smithy, let's see what you think of this. Firmville, coming up. 
<laughs> Some of the kids play today. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Don't, don't be naive. <laughs> okay, here we go. First UI shot. Mmm. Dan, mm. you know it? I'm speaking my language here. Nope. Oh, People there it, it is. BBK. First one to guess Bloodstained. Congratulations mm -hmm. to BBK. I cannot emphasize enough how impressed I am with this community. They are fast as hell. They are. I Holy like it. God. Whew, that they've is been conditioned. If they've been watching your stuff for a while, you do all the the fast reaction uh, trivia stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're doing back of the box. Right, yeah, we kind of have. Uh, we've been doing trivia for years, even back at Game Informer and stuff on the Game Informer show. And so I'm so happy with Trivia Tower to have like a dedicated trivia show. This is like the one stop shop for all trivia ideas. You know, it's it's a. Were you a game show uh, dork like me? Yeah, I, I feel like you like trivia stuff, but we never really talk game shows that much. Yeah, you know. I, yeah, for sure. I'm not huge, not a huge dork. I didn't have cable. And so I wasn't mm. able to see like a lot of the reruns of like classic stuff, like Pyramid and all that stuff. Like I was, I was out of my league, but definitely like Price is Right and Family Feud yeah. were kind of my number one and number two. And then Jeopardy, I, I grew to like it. And actually I've recently gotten more into it. It's on Netflix and it's kind of fun I, to watch that and just scream at the answers. I don't think I've ever seen a full episode of Jeopardy. Oh, really? Uh, but yeah, not really, but you, you would have missed the whole like Nickelodeon heyday of Legends of the Hidden Temple and Guts and all that yep, stuff. Double none of that cable stuff. Yeah, That was my stuff, as well as Price is Right. I that. guess that's a game show. Well, I guess, I mean, the greatest yes! greatest game show of all time is one of my favorite shows. Uh, we, I think now it's the best show on TV. Freaking Survivor, of course. I uh, still don't know much about it. I've been watching The Bachelor, though. Oh, the, uh, man, Bonk. that's a bad, that's bad reality TV. Have you seen TV, The man. Bachelor? I've watched a couple, and it makes my skin crawl. I genuinely it's kind cannot of do it. fascinating, and they're Ugh. really good at manipulative editing. <laughs> I hate it. See, <laughs> Survivor is like a pure, actual, good social game. Like, it's really fantastic. But they're not actually at risk of dying, right? Sometimes it gets a little hairy. Some guy, this is, I mean, second season, but I always remember it. Maybe third season? But he was up early in the morning by himself and he was trying to get the fire started and he was blowing into the fire and he accidentally inhaled all the smoke and then he just passed out face first into a bonfire and the cameraman was like filming for like ah and the cameraman had to like run out and pull this guy out and the oh guy was like in the lead by so far but he had to be you know evacuated from the game and so he didn't get to win and it was such a bummer it's just because he inhaled smoke so it, it it's like ben reeves trying to do that joke at that one cover story dinner where he pretended that thing in the middle was a bong but then inhaled too much smoke and coughed wildly for a long time where was this it's before your time there was like a weird smoker grill thing in the middle of a table i forgot <laughs> who was in town or what cover story trip it was yeah. but it was it looked kind of like a bong and reeves like to be a to, to do a Reeves joke, grabbed it and was like, <laughs> it was like actual smoke and so, <laughs> around all these like creative directors, and PR people. Oh boy! Hey, next screenshot. Here we go, folks. <laughs> Three, two, one, hit it. Could be anything. Okay, that's uh, that's Jade Cocoon. <laughs> the the chat's lighting up with Jade Cocoon. <laughs> As most chats do on the internet. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm my. seeing a lot of different things. People, okay, people are getting warmer. People are getting warmer. Oh my Actually, God. Warm. Everyone is dancing around the correct this answer. Is crazy. Keep dancing around the different numerical options here. Oh, folks. Oh my some, God. Some unlucky answers here. Ve oh, damn. Oh, there we go. Drive, drive it all over me. Are you sure? First one you saw? Yeah, uh, that's the first one I saw, but All right, right, don't shut out if we're not here. if we're not sure. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on. Let me see. They're suing you if uh, if we're wrong. Uh -huh, I, I'm thank you, dude. Thank you. So many people. Yes, you're right. It is drive it all over me is the winner. That is Final Fantasy 13. That's Final a weird Fantasy. Fun name. What's that? That's a weird fun name. <laughs> yeah, drive it all over me. Congratulations. <laughs> there were so many people guessing 14, which is fascinating. Yeah, Just from like 12. the explosion. Yeah, they were all over the place. But drive it all over me. Congratulations. Final Fantasy 13, a game that as a Final Fantasy fan, I am ashamed to say I've never, I've only put a couple hours into it, which seems. That's an online one, right? Nope. nope. No, 13 is the one with uh, the, uh, the guy with the bird in his hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a very That's smart all I game. Know. Yeah. I played through the Final Fantasy 15 standalone fishing game in VR uh, this weekend. We streamed huh. the entire thing. It was like four hours long. It's freaking weird, man. It's like PSVR yeah. exclusive. Uh, like by the end, you're fighting like giant demon fish and the music's like full Sephiroth as this fish is like flying towards you and you're like blasting your gun into its face. It's absurd. Oh, weird. 
It's absurd. Should, uh, this is before your time, but Marky Fava, when 13 was about to come out, we got a preview build of it at Game Informer, and Marky Fava made the mistake of saying he was like trying to learn Japanese, and so oh, they no. like sat him down with it and was like, all right, you can do the preview here. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out the menus. Like, Maybe I don't know Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Next screenshot. Okay. This one's interesting. Mm. It starts with environment, you know? That's scaffolding. Your... Damn, don't say what... Oh, oh, we got it already! It's clearly scaffolding! That is Jake Twitchin. Congratulations. Oh, I'm sorry. It is not Jake Twitchin. That is Super Cooper said God of War. I'm sorry. Super mm. Cooper. K-U-P-E-R. Congratulations. That is, of course, God of War 2018. I remember being stuck in this room for a little bit. Oh, boy. Congratulations. Killing it. Oh, yeah. Do you remember There's this place? There's a lot of puzzle stuff going on here. Yep, yep. It's one of the more puzzly areas in that game. I'm debating with... and lowering. Yeah. I'm debating whether I go back and replay that before Ragnarok comes out this year. I love this game so much. I'm worried that if I play it again, I'll, I'll find holes in it or something. But right now, it's uh, my favorite PS4 game. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see that for sure. Um, I loaded up the uh, that 4K uh, patch or whatever the hell update you call it yeah. on PS5, and it looks real sharp. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, here we go. Next prompt. Tricky one. Go for it. Dan, I'm curious when you would get this one. I'd probably guess it by now, I think. Ooh, people are closer than I mm. thought. Yeah. Okay, wait. Got it, oh, got there it, got we go. It. Call me Steam. Call me Steam. Guesses correctly. Congratulations. Call me Steam, who's at that $2 tier. So thanks for jumping in. I hope you're new. It'd be fun to see you pop up here. This is, of course, Tetris Effect. Wow. Yeah, I went pretty bonkers on that one for a while. Did you recognize that based on the flaming yeah. horse screenshot? Yeah, there's a, the, the particles have a certain look to them in that game. Yeah, what an unbelievable game. Oh my God, it's great. I tried for so long back at Game Informer to line up an interview or like a special video with the lady who sings um, the first song, like Connected. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, wouldn't that be cool to have like an acoustic version of that? You know, we could debut that at Game Informer and a couple emails went, emails went back and forth and it fell through and it was such a bummer. It was right there. Just have Mark McDonald do it. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, here we go. Next screenshot. Good luck. Dugga, dugga, dugga. This one's a little glitchy. Why is that all? Well, I don't know. That's a GIF. I don't know. Something about the way it was exported, I guess. Oh, someone got it. Oh, that is beautiful. Guesses near automata. How the bad games in this? What's that? You're putting bad games in How this? How dare you? Only cool <laughs> games. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Jeez. From those trees. There. That is amazing. Beautiful. Congratulations. Thanks for your support on Patreon. Oh, boy. All That's right. That's crazy. Yeah. Super impressive. Okay. All right. Here we go. All Again, right. I am stunned. Stunned by everybody's speed here. Dan, people seem to say that's the wrong take, saying that Nier Automata is a bad game. No, it's uh, it's, it's pretentious and bad. No, actually, the it's fighting a, is bad. But aren't you okay? But aren't you at least happy as a stubborn man that at least an interesting game is being released? A weird game, you got to give it up for that. I like interesting and weird. Okay. Um, but I tried playing it, and I value gameplay, and the gameplay is bad. But it's interesting. Okay, here we go. Ah, the gameplay's not. Oh, here we go. Next screenshot. <laughs> Welcome to Trivia Tower, Dan Record takes a crap on every floor we got. <laughs> oh, man. The rest have been great. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hope you like purple. Okay. This is fascinating. This is... The Unfinished Swan. <laughs> Dan, do you see what the right answer is, Dan? Yeah. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure you weren't yeah, actually lobbing stuff I'm out. Mushroom men. I love Mushroom Men. I know you do. Well, I like Mushroom Wars, and Mushroom Men is fine as the platform. Right, right. Mushroom Wars is the one you like. Yeah, I played that with it's you. It's a very fun RTS. It's cool, a lot right? Of people got it. There we go. That is The Dynasty guesses Bioshock. Bioshock 1, congratulations. That's the underscore D I N H A S T Y. The Dynasty with Bioshock. Congratulations. Killing it. Killing it. Okay, this is, Dan, um, people want to know the numbers. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Next one is number 14. Number 14. Super smooth way you have to keep track. <laughs> Individually counting every one on the list. 
<laughs> okay, here we go. Next screenshot. And yeah. Mm. Mm. The tire tread? Not quite a tire tread, my lady love. Is that a cockroach? Not quite a, a dead cockroach, space suit? my lady love. Oh, just quit saying that. Skeleton? Oh, I know that guy. When was he fighting skeletons? Oh, it's, it's a scarecrow. There thing. we go. Uh, all right, yeah. And of course, the first person to guess correctly is the one. The a lot of people guessing Mr. Bones. Um, incorrect. That is <laughs> J. Rez with Batman Arkham Asylum. Congratulations, J. Rez. J. R. E. Z. Congratulations. You're moving on to the second floor, baby. Dr. Moose Milk said someone. I sent someone the box art of Mr. Bones 30 minutes before we went live. <laughs> Why? I did some That's embargo. It was related to work. I sent it to a wrestler. <laughs> cool. Uh, people seem angry that that one was tricky. Well, look, some of these are going to be tricky. Some of these, yeah, you got to hold your shot. Got to hold your shot. Nice shirt, by the way, Dan. Oh, thanks. I got the same, same, same one. Oh. I wear this frequently. I gotta say, the quality is that this is a comfortable, comfortable shirt. Oh, good. Thank you. If, if only I could have gotten one with the old logo. <laughs> <laughs> Would you call it an eco-friendly paper plate company it looks like logo? A logo for a company that makes eco-friendly paper plates. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good one. <laughs> okay, here we go. Next, uh, minmax.com slash merch. Hey, look at this. Next screenshot. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. Is this Mr. Bones? <laughs> Do I see Mr. Bones? <laughs> I don't see Mr. Bones. Um, Do you think you unconsciously do the family feud? Let's take a look at the big board. Of course. Boys? I mean, okay. after watching thousands of hours of family feud. <laughs> and we also played family feud over a Discord call over uh, New Year's. So I got That's that true. voice in my in my head. <laughs> Oh, come on. Somebody's got to get this, but wait, 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 wait. I thought I saw someone get it. Yeah, Dan, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm slowly going through. Someone, I'm sure, has got it. Uh, <laughs> and that is, of course, the one, the only, Outer Wilds. Congratulations, Internet. Levi was the first to guess correctly with Outer Wilds. Oh, that's the place I forget to grab that suit, and then I jump out into outer space and then suffocate and feel like the world's biggest dipshit. <laughs> That's internet.levi. Thank you so much, Internet Levi. It's fun to see new uh, voices and faces in the Discord. Hope you all enjoy the Discord. Uh, okay, that is Outer Wilds. Congratulations. All right. I like the name Flamin' Queso and his avatar being uh, a block of cheese on fire. Yeah. That guy seems cool. Oh, he's very cool. He's been around for a long time. He's a wonderful member of the Discords. So thanks for being here, Flamin' nice. Queso. But you got to get one of these suckers right, Flamin' Queso. Okay, here we go. Next one. Here we go. Hmm. <sighs> Look, this is. I watched a video of this one uh, a day or two ago. Is that right? That's oh, right. DJ Tommy Pizza ninety <laughs> two, unbelievable. <laughs> That's DJ Tommy Pizza ninety two. Thanks for your support on Patreon. This is of course the one, the only Journey. I don't know, Dan. Can you do an announcer voice for Journey? Uh, announcer voice. Uh, Journey! No, that's not good. Are we just trying to do Don Pardo? <laughs> Genova Chan! <laughs> <laughs> All right, congratulations. Yeah, unbelievable. I feel like people are just guessing color schemes at a certain point, but... Yeah. Yeah, he's... Now I'm just picturing Genova Chan as, like, Wayne and Garth's friend that, like, joined, like, a year in. The crowd, like, eh. Did you see that? <laughs> right. Did you see that SNL? <laughs> it was a couple of years ago, I think. Oh, hang on. Let me try and really remember this. I just remember they did a sketch not too long ago where it was about like podcasts. And it was a lot about making fun of like podcast ads. And it was really. Cereal. They, they did a uh, serial sketch a few years ago. Maybe. But it was like multiple podcasts. I think. But anyways, the point is, I just remember it was like a good indicator because the crowd was not into it. Um, it was a good indicator. Maybe it wasn't funny, but also just like maybe, you know. The people who work at SNL listen to podcasts a lot more than the average viewer of SNL here. It's still more niche than I think people in the podcast uh, profession might think. Yeah. Um, Leafion is asking, can we have clarification on valid answers? Are subtitles necessary? Good question. I think it depends on, do we know the game? Because people are confused about Bloodstained. Because Ritual of the mm. Night, is that the full name? 
And they didn't technically Literal have it. And then there's Curse the Moon, you know? There are. You know what? That's a little bit of a breaking ground. But if we know the game you're talking about, you can't just say The Legend of Zelda. You know, like, you need that subtitle. And so I understand yes. that was a little bit confusing. I didn't think of that one. But yes, try and say the name of the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, next one. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember putting this one together now. <laughs> I, I would not get this one. This is my favorite screenshot of all of Zoom Shot here. Yeah. <laughs> it's really dynamic. A lot of people guessing Resident Evil 4, Dan. It looks like a gun. Well, I can see why. That's like the angle of a gun in it Resident Evil 4. It feels like the angle of a gun. Oh, but it's pointing at you. It's thought-provoking. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I would never get this. <laughs> Are you sure? What the fuck? <laughs> Nightmare <laughs> Creatures? <laughs> it is not Nightmare Creatures. Oh. Do I see a correct Somebody guess met. still going through? Hang on, Dan. Oh, there it is. Then Tom was like, gets Vampire the Masquerade. Congratulations to Then Tom was like, Vampire the Masquerade. Moving on to the second floor. Oh boy. Okay. Again, he did not say Bloodlines, but we know the one game he's talking about here. Uh, nobody played that game, says Ian T. Clark. Well, that's kind of true. All right, here we go. Next round. Ready to go? Are you muted, Dan? What? No. Oh, never mind. Okay, me? great. I got you now. Here we okay. go. Next shot. Okay. Oh, uh, I think I'd guess this already. Really? Uh huh. Shut up. Oh, hey. oh. <laughs> oh. oh my God. God, that is a flood. That's bonkers. Lots of Silent Hill. Yeah. Daisy. I would get this. I would get this. People really. Yep, 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 yep. I saw it. Okay, all right. Scrolling down. Waiting for the one, the only. Of course, this is... Oh my gosh, so many people were so close. There it is. Fontelroy with Metal yeah. Gear Solid 4. Congratulations, Fontelroy. Moving on to the next round. On to the second Fontelroy. floor. You do? Yeah, he's in mine. Oh, good. Welcome, yeah. Fontelroy. Thank you for being here. Whew. All right. Well done. That is Metal Gear Solid 4. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven slots left. Seven chances to make it to the second floor. And that's where things get serious. Whoa. Congratulations, Fontelroy. Okay. Here we go, everybody. Next one. Whew. Make it count. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Was it fun for you to pick the part that was the most zoomed in? That was the most fun thing. Everything else was okay. kind of a pain in the ass, like just gathering all these and keyframing it and stuff. But yeah, figuring yeah. out like, what's the most fun area to be zoomed in here? I used to like to crop like the uh, the, the images for Game Informer's homepage, you know? Yeah, it is the, super the fun. The 310s, the 300s, the 200s, the 610s. Yep, you got it all down. That's it. <laughs> Who got it first? Of course, a lot of people guessing Death Stranding. This is Shuya82 guessing The Last of Us. Way to go, Shuya82. S-H-U-Y-A-82. Killing it. Whew. Yeah, I figured that outline, like, ah, maybe somebody would get that somewhat early, but it's it's definitely a the tricky one. The outline of the, of what? Of, the, like, the enemy up there. Oh, I didn't even see the enemy. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's I what I was zoomed stove. into, technically. Oh, Whew. wow, okay. All right, here we go. Next one. Here we go, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you land on Last of Us Part Two, Dan? Excellent. Good. Maybe uh, the best story I've seen in a game since like a Metal Gear game. Okay. I mean, you know, I'm not a story guy, but yeah. I was I was uh, invested. Really? I thought that story was incredibly well told. Yeah. Interesting. Chat's gonna light you up with that and near automata. I know How people you... get real mad about that game for some reason. I thought it was fucking great. It is very good. Okay, here we go. Next. Screenshot. Hit it. <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, the horror. The horror of this war. Oh, I know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That is Yarny Yoshi 13. Killing it. Yarn Yoshi 13. Unbelievable. Hey. He guesses, of course, the one, the only, one of Dan Reichert's favorite games of all time. This is Wii Sports. Oh, it's an incredible game. It is fantastic. Uh, I like that you had it on your list of favorite games of all time there, Dan. Did I? Is it? Uh, it was in the top uh, yeah, 100. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep, yep. I, 
I can see that being up there, especially the bowling, specifically the bowling. Yes, that is Yarn Yoshi 13. Congratulations. Yeah, this was a <laughs> low res screenshot. Yeah. Uh, Yarn Yoshi has apparently had a heart attack from the adrenaline rush, so congratulations. <laughs> you think this is bad? This is like the first circle zoom in on, you mm -hmm. know, PUBG. Like, we're not even getting intense yet. <laughs> okay, here we go. Next screenshot. Some say tricky, some say easy, some say a stinker, some say a good smeller. Here we go. I should never host a trivia show. No, I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> what right. is this? We have guesses. We have SSX. We have No Man's Sky. We have Halo. We have Fortnite, Rocket League, everything. Oh my God. People are really. Well, I'll just say I've never heard of this game. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, no hints. <laughs> No hints, Dan's. What the hell is this? Oh, hang on. Do is, that, uh, is this a real game? Shut up. Yes, it's very much a real game. Still going through. Oh, oh, hang on. I believe the first person to get it is Abrac. Abrac. Is this? this is Everwild, ladies and gentlemen. The new rare game recently what? announced. Yeah, they announced it last year. Oh, so it's not, not out yet. It is not out yet. That's why it was a tricky one, but congratulations to Abrac, A-B-R-A-C-K, for getting it. To be fair, he also put Everwild question mark. <laughs> which, That's the official title. You have to answer in the form of a question. It should have said at the beginning of Trivia mm. Tower. Congratulations. <laughs> Whoo, Snufkin, he says he did the freaking Everwild thing. Yeah, this chat was joking about me including Everwild earlier, and that was really funny because I oh, had yeah. already included it. So, <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that game. It seems just like, it's a little bit cryptic. It seems like Monster Hunter-ish, except you're like taking care of animals <laughs> instead of murdering them. It seems very It's cool. rare. I mean, it's got my attention. Yeah, especially after, you know, it's weird. I don't think you would have said that as passionately at the launch of Sea of Thieves, but now it's like, yeah, daily, Sea of Thieves is like, oh. that was a good play in the long run. That was a cool, weird thing. I just thing. don't really like games where you kind of have to play multiplayer to, to get it, you know? Sure. Uh, all right, there are four slots left. Here we go. Interesting. Interesting, I say, as I'm the yeah. one that chose the game and the zoom in. Ooh, these butts That's, guesses V V V V V. There are some good guesses here for sure. Uh, sound shapes, uh, Hyperlight Drifter, Fortnite again, Psychonauts, Dreams, Pac Man, Thomas was alone, and plus plus. Do I when I would get this? Yeah, when? Right now, right now. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a small hint. Do I see it? Who is the oh, yeah. first person to come buzzing in? Oh, Leafeon! There we go with Sonic 2. Congratulations to Leafeon with Sonic 2. Congratulations, you're moving on to the second floor of Trivia Tower. Whew! Tricky. It's a good uh, screenshot choice. That that section or these mini games blew my mind when I saw it at the video store as a kid. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you remember I didn't like think your... it was possible to make a game look like this? Was there one go-to gaming store that you went to as a kid? The Video Library. It was a, well. It was just an overall like VHS. It would. It's where I would go rent my wrestling tapes, and they would have like Mortal Kombat tournaments on a big screen. And mm. yeah, like they, they had all the weird like you know they would have a whole section for stuff you wouldn't see at a blockbuster. I'm just like this is a giant thing of wrestling tapes, you know? Like, yeah. That doesn't happen often. No, not so much. Congratulations, Leafeon. There are three left. There are three left. Um, if this is a hint, I would say, I believe there's UI in this one. Oh, maybe not. I forget where I zoomed in on this one, but get ready to go. Several people are ready to type. Here we go. Of course, there's no UI in this one, you idiot. Somebody gets a Shadow of the Colossus. Interesting. Um, oh my God. Dan, this is not. Oh, someone got it. Someone got it. Okay. And that is Steven Stormblessed. Wow. That is very impressive. See, this is a good lesson in the power of the hive mind of the internet, Dan. It That's is crazy. Crazy. So this is, of course, the world ends with you, Steven Stormblessed. Congratulations for taking that. This is, I believe, the remaster screenshot. It's which a is, switch. Yeah, it came yeah. to switch. You like that game, didn't you, Dan? I do. Why do you like that one so much? That's interesting for you. It's just got its own weird thing going on. I'd never played anything like it. I, I think it utilized like the touchscreen stuff in a really smart way uh, back in the, the DS days. I, I was just very impressed by that. Yeah. Um, are you looking forward to the the announcement of them making another one? 
it, they're making another one? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm announcing it right I'm not now. Aware of that? Yeah, they That's did. Interesting. Uh, and the weird thing is, it's coming out. I think this year, and it's coming out for PS4. So it's one of those weird. Yeah. Okay. Cross makes sense. Less interested, but yeah. Um, okay. Here we go. Two left. Two slots left for moving on to the second floor. Here we go. Dan, I'm curious if that text gives anything away for hardcore fans. Oh my God, Nilo19. It must have given it away. I did not think it was specific at all, but Nilo19 gets it. Of course, this is the one and only Fallout 4. Wow, oh. Nilo. That is ridiculous. Wow. That was very fast. I guess just the color scheme, like the the art style, that's incredible. So Nilo. Oh, it's a weird one because that's, I feel like, not nearly as many people played that, or at least maybe people just didn't like it as much. Yeah, I'm sure it still had more players than God. Um, yeah. But congratulations. Uh, moving on to the next round. There is one more slot, everybody. One more contender can move on to the second floor. Whew. Do you think normal game show hosts are as nervous as I am right now? Like, it's, it's a weird, tense thing, even on this end of it. No, because they have to do it like 90 times a day to get a bunch in the can, you know. There, there, there's a lot of those a year. Trebek wasn't shaking in his boots. Yeah, yeah. Um, have they announced the new host for Jeopardy? I don't think so. I haven't really been following that. Okay. All right. Last slot. Everybody ready? Oh, wait, real quick. Speaking of Jeopardy, uh, I listen to podcasts and the host was, has been wondering uh, for weeks, why has SNL not done a sketch yet since Connery and Trebek died in the same week? of Alex Trebek dies and it's Will Ferrell comes on to play him and he shows up to heaven. He's like, oh my God, it's heaven. This is amazing. But then Daryl Hammond, Sean Connery's up there uh, giving him hell in, in heaven. You know, yeah. the old Celebrity Jeopardy sketches. Yeah, I'm going to guess because that's a cruel and unusual punishment for the family. Like lovingly, you know, it's like a tribute thing, you know, like not like making fun of him. <laughs> I don't know. I think everyone would be too weirded out. I don't think anybody's in the mood really? to laugh when it's like, hey, those beloved people died. Let's roll. Oh, it would be done lovingly. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Last guess. Here we go. Last entry to the second floor, which is pretty sweet, may I remind you. Here we go. Wood, uh, uh, brown. Uh, holy crap. Oh, gee, what the hell? People are ridiculous, but not in the way that is Evan One Sonic got it. People, like, the first guess was everybody guessing Final Fantasy VII Remake, Dan. I think because of the texture of the door is kind of like a famous thing in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. But it the is? correct answer, yeah. The correct answer is what Evan One Sonic guessed, which is the original Final Fantasy VII. Oh, hang on I a second, though. Sense. Hang on, though. I get hang up, up. Sense here. What? If, if I may, though, Dan, uh, I forgot. He wrote FF7, and we said no acronyms. So I need to keep mm. scrolling down. So it is not Evan One Sonic. I take Ooh. that back. I'm sorry. Ooh. I need to see who actually typed out Final Fantasy VII. God, I almost... A lot of people guessing remake all over the place that is complimentary water takes the win complimentary water with final fantasy 7 killing it complimentary water it's nice to see a new name like that oof do other people like the remake a lot or is that are you and min max the only people because i feel like i don't hear anyone talking about that game unless it's you guys um uh, people like it yeah um they do <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a, it is very well liked. Uh, they really pulled it off. In general, <laughs> yes, Dan, you liked it for a lot of it too, man. I did for quite a while, yeah. But like, I, I feel like I don't hear anybody talk about that game except for you. Well, Dan, how many gaming podcasts do you listen to? Zero. <laughs> okay, that might be a good indicator. <laughs> I talked to my wife about video games a lot, and we both fell off of it. <laughs> Sorry, Evan One Sonic, for going with the acronym. That was fast, but we need the full thing spelled out. Uh, better luck next time. But thank you so, so much, everybody, for competing. But this is just the start, baby, because we're moving on to the second floor. And without further ado, second floor, Dan, here we go. Let's do it. Oh, we got a whole thing. Welcome, everybody. It's just a transition, really. <laughs> no, it's a whole thing. Welcome to the second floor of Trivia Tower. Hats off to everybody who's in here. Complimentary Water, all our friends. Nilo19, Fontelroy, Leafeon, Hoots, Abrac, uh, Beautiful. All our old friends are here, Dan. 
I know Fauntleroy, and I'm sure everyone else is very pleasant. Great. Um, Dan, this is a category in a little game I like to call the jukebox. Oh. Oh, you said it in a way that I thought you were about to like start like a little like jingle or uh, animation <laughs> or something. I was waiting for that. No, not nothing. quite. Not quite. Um, Dan, do you want to explain yeah. how this round works, please? To the best of my understanding, yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do a sound with my voice, and you guys have to guess what I'm going for. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Ben Hansen told me to come up with 15 things yep. I could impersonate. Now, here's here's and... the thing. Here's the thing, Dan. Starting yeah. out, this is going to be, you need the name of characters. Not, well, here's the, the, not the game that here's it's the from. Thing, for the, yes. I'm looking at, I can look at the second floor here. Let me look here. This is presumably going to go much slower, right? Um. Yes, correct. So since I'm the one doing the, the, the voices here, can I just keep an eye on this? And then yeah. I can just tell you like, yeah, that's, I accept that yes, as the answer. Absolutely. Let's do it that way. Cause I know what I'm going for and yes. I'll in my head know how specific I need it to be. Okay. okay. And to be clear, Dan, we're starting with characters and they need to name not the game that it's from, but name the character. Well, I think it's going to vary. I'll, I'll say it each time. How about that? But Dan, to be clear, it, you're doing, you're starting with the sound effects. Yes. Yes. But even those are kind of like, it could be, well, could they all be some of them are not just like a specific character and you know? Okay, Dan, just say what answer you're looking for before you do this, please. I will. They're pretty much almost literally all characters, except for one. The fifth <laughs> one. And I can talk about that when we get there. Okay, so for now, you're guessing the name of the character that Dan is impersonating. Or if there's anything specific, <laughs> I'll bring it up now. So for this first one, it's not a specific character. It's do you know what the first one is, Anson? Uh, no, I don't, Dan, but I trust you. Um, okay, it's a I, thing I, that's I... happening in a certain game. So tell me what's happening and what game it's in. Okay? Great. A great mushy <laughs> place to start, Dan. Okay. okay, everybody get ready. Timer's okay. counting down. We got all of our friends here. We got Hoots, Complimentary Water, Hawk, Mont, Call Me Steam. So there are going to be 15 questions here. The 15 people that are moving on to the third floor, they all receive a code for a devolver game including uh oliha uh we have fall guys codes carrion which was a cool game from last year mm -hmm. all right fonsoroy don't type out don't type out because you're gonna get dinged all right all right so this first thing describe what is happening and then this is a specific game all right so a specific title and then something that happens in that game i'll know it when i see it you ready <laughs> okay <clears throat> okay I keep in mind i'm bad at this so these are all going to be fuzzy here we that go that wasn't part of the deal I'm waiting. Nope. We I see guesses of Yoshi dying. Nope. Pac-Man nope. dying. Pac-Man dies. No. Nope. Mario nope. dying 64. You're welcome to again. keep guessing, by the way, once the timer allows. <laughs> Generator in Dead by Daylight. I'm still looking for it. I see Centipede game over, Dan. I mean, should I start hinting towards things? If you can do it one more time. I mean, people... It is something dying. Okay, it's something right here, right here. dying. Oh, oh nope. <laughs> Ooh, I mean... <laughs> people are... Uh, Okay, the dynasty has exactly what I was looking for. Dynasty, a boss dying in Link to the Past. That is so specific. A boss dying <laughs> in Link to the Past. One of my favorite sounds ever. Oh my god, dynasty! Congratulations. Moving on to the third floor. Congratulations, you win a code from Devolver. Wow, any boss? Yeah. Any boss? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Boy. And somebody said Link dying in Link to the Past, and it's like, you know what? That is kind of that's pretty damn similar. Pretty damn similar. All right, the, the other ones are easier than that one, right, Dan? Well, I'm still going to be bad at emulating it, so we'll see. Okay. <laughs> that, that, yes, there will be easier ones for sure. Okay. All okay, right. Ready for number two? Uh, let's give people time. Got to give them thirty seconds to get ready. Okay. Um, okay. How are you feeling about this next one? What are you What are you looking for in this next one? Uh, this is a character, uh, and yeah, give me the specific game. Um, character and game. Yeah, I mean, if they have one, they're going to have the other. Like, I think. Okay, are we ready? Um, yes. 
Dan. It's a short one. It's a short one. So get in there quick. You ready? <clears throat> All right, Dan. Good. Go for it. Blip, 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 dab. <laughs> Good times. Oh, 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 oh. Looking for the name of the character and the game. Blip, 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 dab. Dan, don't react. It's poker mm -hmm. face, Dan. Dan, do that beautiful voice one more time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, wait, no. <laughs> that's, 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 that's my poker face, sorry. That's the poker worst face. poker face I've ever seen in my life. Oh, Dr. No. Rock! Dr. Rock! Dr. Rock. <laughs> It is Falco from the original Star Fox. Oh yes, my somebody god. Somebody said 64 and I about had a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Dr. Ock, congratulations. Moving on to the next round. Are you sure Peppy doesn't sound like that? Because everybody guessed Peppy. Quite possibly, but that's not what I had down. So. Dan, you really suck. Okay. Uh, Hoot says he had, he said Star Fox 64 though, and that's not correct. He did. It was not Star Fox 64. It is Star Fox, the original. Sorry, yeah, real voices in 64. Yep. Okay. Next one. What are you looking for here, Dan? Okay. This next one. This is a specific character in a specific game. And you're looking for what? Tell you what, just give me the name of the character. All right. We don't need to get it because. Okay. Okay. Right. Just Ready? name of the character. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I was good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay. I will accept spelling errors. Drive it all over me. Whomp. Whomp. There's it, an H, but... But is, it is well, not... To be fair, it is not Thwomp, which is what Jay Rez guessed. No, it is not Thwomp. This is Whomp. The Whomp is the one that... <laughs> My sister can do it better than me, but it's the WAP in 64. Congratulations. Drive it all over me. Moving on to the next round. Hoof. Hoof. WAP. There it is. Okay. Dan. There we go. You're making a lot of enemies today. I'll tell you that much. Hey, you said ungoogleable. <laughs> I know. You're right. <laughs> Come on, Google. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean you don't understand what I'm going for? Everyone's holding up Shazam in order to cheat. <laughs> Error. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Next one. Okay. What are you looking for, Dan? Character. Just character. I will accept if you just give me the character. Okay. That's fine. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Shoot. Wait. Pretty good. Do we see it? Lots of reuse. There Call it is. Call me Steam. Call me Steam gets it. That is E Honda from Street That's Fighter. Congratulations. Right, headbutt. Whew, I, everybody's with Ryu so fast. Well, Ryu, That's, really? Really? Dan, do you remember when you were writing the review of Ninja Gaiden 3 on Wii U? And the headline. Uh, the, the accidental rhyming thing? And the headline said, Review Wii U, Ryu's Wii U debut. Yeah. That <laughs> and was... said, That's a pretty good headline, Dan. You're like, What is? Like, Why? Like, you didn't understand that you had written Wii U's re review, Ryu, Wii U's debut. <laughs> This is so stupid. I didn't intend to do that, but it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, congratulations. Call me, Steam. You're moving on to the third floor. All right, Dan, what are you looking for now? Okay. Um, uh, just give me the game. I think okay. just the game here. I'm going to be doing voices from the game to the best of my memory. Okay. okay? Yep. Okay. Yep. Matalo! More ears, Vivir, more ears, Vivir, more ears, Vivir. Oh, Dan. There yeah, it is, okay, BBK. B BBK with Resident Evil 4, of course, as the villagers from Resident Evil 4. Everybody's on board. BBK. Well, more ears, Vivir is more of the guys in the castle, but it all, you know. Yeah. It well, all works. It was nice. That was a, you know, it was the first complex Spanish sentence I learned, I think, was de tras de t. It's very helpful in that really? game. Yeah, you know, Duolingo starts with that? I think so, yeah. Okay. Uh, congratulations, BBK. All right, Dan, is this one also a sound effect, or what is this? We got two more sound effects, and these are definitely the easiest, I think. Okay. Ready? Um, let's, <clears throat> yes, yes. <clears throat> Power up! <laughs> I don't know this one. I don't think. Mm -mm. 
Ah, DJ Tommy Pizza. DJ Tommy Pizza 92. Moving on to the next round, Dan, that's Altered Beast. That is. When you get a power up. He looks at the camera and goes, power up, and, and just gets jacked. <laughs> that game's so dorky. That really might be the dorkiest really video it's game ever made. Good. No. It's I, I had such fond memories for that until me and Vinny played all the way through and it's like, oh man, this actually ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> did you was that a this is the this is the run? Yeah, yeah, we did it all in one sitting and it sucked. What was the best this is the run? What was the best game for that? Contra Hardcore with mm. a bullet. Yeah. Okay. Contra Hardcore kicked ass. All right, here we go. Uh okay. what are you looking for? Uh just give me the well I I guess. Give me the character in the series. Okay. Okay. Character Ready? and it's very series. easy, I think. I think. I don't know. Yep. Actual power. It's a subtle hint in there. <laughs> I know, I just realized it. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, then Tom. Then Tom. Then Tom was like, moving on to the next round, to the third floor. That is, of course, Axel from Twisted Metal 2. Yeah, that's what I was picturing, but I figured he probably said Axel Power in, in the other ones. Yeah. He was in a bunch of them. How um how strong do you think Axel had to be in order to rip his own arms off in that ending for just a middle two? Well, did Calypso give him any like superpowers at that point, or did he just do it? I don't know. Because he wished he just wanted to see his dad or something, right? I think he just did it. It's like it's like if your arm was chained to something, could you if you're really yeah. strong, could you just like rip it off? It'd be harder to rip off. Isn't that it? what that guy that James Franco played did? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he studied Axel's and cutscene just metal two for inspiration. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what are you looking for now, Dan? Mm, okay. Now we're moving on to music. Okay. So I'm I'm I bringing down DMC eight here, Ben. Yeah. All right. I'm bringing down the trivia tower floor two music, so Dan can really have the floor. And Dan, I would I would ask that you start out slow, and then wind I will it up. Try. Okay. But it's music, and music goes at a specific tempo. <laughs> One of the defining characteristics. Okay. How it goes, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. I think these are all going to be pretty easy. All right, go for it, man. All right, here we go. And most of them, I only know, like, bit, bit parts, so it's just going to be repeating until someone gets it. People will love okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Somebody guess it, please. Wow, that truly sucks. Let me look there and jump. This is iconic. If Jim Jerry was here, he would get it. <laughs> Dan, I'm looking through your list that you submitted to me, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> People have gotten close. All right, keep going. Tim, Tim would be screaming. All right, keep going, keep going. People are so close. They've named games that it's in. I guess I didn't say it was the track title I was looking for. What are you? So you're it's looking the for track title? Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Complimentary water. Dan, you have to say what you're looking for, you Dingleberry. Jesus. We got there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't understand why everyone's saying the name of the game that it's in. What's going on here? <laughs> oh my God, Dan. All right. Complimentary yeah, water. Throw some chaos into the operation, Ben. That was Bloody Tears, of course. All right. From Castlevania. All right, Dan. Now, with this next one, be very clear. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Uh, this is a. I want the name of the song. Okay. Okay. You don't have to say anything about the game. If you just say the name of the song, you got it. Okay. This is going to be easy. Okay, ready? Yep. Starting slow. Okay, Stephen got it. 
<laughs> One winged angel. <laughs> when the cuckoos sing it. <laughs> Song of Storms from Zelda. Ocarina of Time. There we go. Congratulations, Steven Stormbless. Moving on to third floor. You get, you get a code from Devolver. Okay. Don't worry, it's only six more songs for me to All sing. All right, Dan. Jesus, sweet mercy of God. All right, take it away, dude. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, wait. Which one was I going for here? Okay. Okay. All right, ready? Oh, yeah. Da wait, wait. Uh, I'm looking for the game. I'm looking for the game. Okay. 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 Leafy on. It's messy, but it's clear what he's going for. It's it's clear. All right. Yep. 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 Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good there. We're good there. Congratulations, Leafion. I saw that edit, you sly dog. All right. Uh, moving on to floor three. Dan, serenade us, baby. I really want this next one to be pitch perfect, dude. Give me, uh, just give me the series. Series. Right, ready? Okay. Wait, I got to think how it goes again. Um, why am I blanking on this? <laughs> Uh oh yeah, yeah yeah of course okay J Rez takes it okay. J Rez with Metal Gear Solid <laughs> oh Winter's Road what it's a deep cut it's that Russian song that sounds so much like that oh the right Metal right Gear. yeah still I even, I think it's still on YouTube I haven't seen it in years but that video where they show it to Kojima and Kojima, Kojima yeah. is just like holy God like, yes that sounds similar <laughs> I guess and we'll never man play it to death <laughs> you sent him to a winter road okay uh, congratulations J Rez moving on to the next one all right here we go Dan okay <clears throat> uh, this one give me the uh, specific game and tell me where you hear it okay game and location of song yeah weird yeah okay it is weird here we go okay ding 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 Bing, bing, ka, bing. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, yeah. Nilo got it. <laughs> Nilo 19. Oh, hoots, you were there by a millisecond. That is Mario Sunshine Delfino Plaza. That is a lot to type out when you're under pressure. Holy it cow. It is, yeah. <laughs> it sounded like... Dun, 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 oh, okay. Like, the, sounded the like you, Yeah, it's, it's getting into it. Okay. Yeah. Whew, congratulations. Uh, Dan, how many more we got? How many slots are left? Uh, we got three more songs. Okay, three more slots to move on to third floor and win a Devolver Code. Okay. Give me the uh, give me the name of the game and where you hear it. Okay, ready? Ready? Game the na name of the game and where you hear it. Yep. Yep. Diggity dog, Sacco. Ah 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 ah. Diggity dig 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 Yep. Okay, Alex got it. <laughs> Diggity dog. Diggity dig 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 diggity dog, yeah. WWF No Mercy main menu. Oh my god. <laughs> Not allowed to say diggity dig dig diggity dog in the menu. <laughs> Taco. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, congratulations, Alex. Okay. Okay, two more, huh? Uh huh. Okay, here we go. Here we go, buddy. Okay. 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 Um, how does this go? Why I, I'm blanking on the most obvious. <laughs> Okay, so it's not. And what are you um, looking for? Uh, just the series. Okay. My God, what is going on with my brain? Can I? I think I know what it is. Yeah. Um. So it's. Uh... <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Hang on. Are you blanking too? <laughs> it's like the... <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I think it's this, right? Uh, Already not. Uh, <laughs> not at all. 
it is, it is, I think. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay, take it away. Ding, 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 Okay, yeah. Okay, Hawkmont. Hawkmont got it, yes. To be fair, mine was, it was the part, I was slowing it down, but it's the da 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 Yeah, it was, it was technically that same song, so I wasn't trying to sing a different tune to you. That and the Metal Gear one, it's like, those are probably the two I've heard the most in my life, and my brain is just like, why can't I do this? I had to go back and think of, there's that, have you seen that Tetris, where it's like, History of Russia through Tetris, and it's like the Tetris song, but they put lyrics to it, which normally is a terrible thing, but this video is so cool. No. It's very, very good, it just tells the entire history of Russia with the Tetris song, and then in that section, it just goes, can I get a long one, please? I, I, you know, there's oh, okay, notes first. in there, but yeah, so it's, it's very good. Okay, anyways. Last one, Dan. Last yeah. chance to get to the third floor of <clears throat> Trivia Tower. There we, there we go. <laughs> My throat hurts. <laughs> you might. It starts out. It goes. <laughs> pan up. Uh, we got the game, and I don't think I said any specifics beyond that. So I say, let's give it to Ray Luaza. It is. Uh, Damn. Uh, yeah. Bowser in <laughs> Super Mario 64. This is infuriating. On behalf of the community. Uh, Set them both of, up. You have the power. Uh, no, no, no. We can't. We have the specific number moving on. So that's Ray Luaza <laughs> moving on. That is Super Mario 64 Bowser's theme. <clears throat> yeah, when you go to bed, one of the three Bowser fights. Oh my God! Congratulations. Let's move on to the third floor. Here we go, everybody. This one will be good. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. We're here, Dan. Welcome oh, yeah, to the yeah, third floor, everybody. Next one. Oh, everybody's here. We got the Dynasty. We got Ray Luazo. We got Hawk Munt. We got Complimentary Water. We got BBK. Nilo19. Thanks for being here. This is, of course... By the way, congratulations. Everybody wins a game code from Devolver. You can choose between Aliha, um, Carrion, uh, Fall Guys, and we'll get that rolling after the game here, and we'll, we'll lock down uh, who gets what code and all that fun stuff. Okay. Are you ready? This yes. is, of course, Dan, a game called... Cinematic Reveal Trailer Park. I have clips of cinematic reveal trailers from video game history. I will play these clips. First person to guess the correct name of the game moves on to the second floor of Trivia Tower. Whew. This is maybe not from the start. This might be a slice. Some of these clips are longer than others. Do you these... need me to sing? No, no, you're good, Dan. You rest your voice, <laughs> please, you little angel. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Cinematic reveal trailer. And of course, there are going to be 15 of these. Um, no, I'm sorry. Of course, there are 10. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yes, 10. Right? Yes. Okay, here we go. Two million dead in the first day. Another seven million by the end of the first week. Every defense annihilated. All our there it is. On the it's complimentary water with Mass Regrouping. Effect 3. Somewhere. Congratulations. Reports are coming Ooh, in from other major cities. Kind of a one, it's, it's a well coordinated iconic attack. For being that cryptic and so far, it's been damned of effective. Could possibly be. Of course, that's Mass Effect 3. Really? Yeah. Didn't it's... we reveal this? We did the cover reveal, didn't we? Um, we did it after that intro. But the crazy thing is, I don't believe that guy in London is even in the game. It's just a weird huh. outlier. Uh, oh, people say head, I couldn't tell you a single thing that happened to Mass Effect 3. Well, that's great. Um, okay, <laughs> congratulations to um, Complimentary Water. Moving on to the next round. Whew, next one. Uh, Ray Loaza says it's very loud. I'm sorry, I'll try and uh, fix it with the next one here. Okay, cinematic reveal trailer. First one to guess it. Some chains can never be broken. I lost 15 years buried alive. Different erased. type of cinema. That is the Dynasty guessing correctly with Uncharted 4. Way to go, Dynasty. But you can't. And the fun thing is that eventually was not canon anymore. Like in that one, 
the brother is like, I'll get you, Drake. It's like very hostile. Really? And then they recast they like him and everything. the story at some point? What's that? Did they like overhaul the story at some point during development? Yeah, I remember when Amy Hennig was let go or she left the project. Vaguely. Remember, the, there's a lot of Amy Hennig drama. Do you remember this? No, not really. Okay, well, that was Uncharted 4. Congratulations to the dynasty moving on to the second floor. Whew. Technically, this is working out okay. It's a little bit loud, but otherwise, it's all right. All right, next cinematic reveal trailer. Here we go. None shall be untouched by the fires above. Neo, Dark Souls 3. A lot of guesses out there. There we go. Alex gets it. That is Dragon Age Inquisition. Wow. Very impressive, Alex. Congratulations. Moving on to the next round, second floor. Killing it. I'm very impressed. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I love it. See, what I like about this game, Dan, is like, it always drives me nuts when game companies try and have like this cryptic opening to their cinematic reveal trailer. Because it's always like, I just clicked on this on YouTube. I know exactly what this is, you know? But this I is like... they're the, going for that, like, oh, it's showing on a press conference stage. But E3, even outside of so, press conferences, they still do that format. And it's always like, this is, doesn't really work anymore. I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Unless it's part of, like, a direct or something. Yeah, yeah. But it, but yeah. it, worked, per, it works perfectly for this game. Word perfectly, as Tim would say. Okay, here we go. Oh, Ray yeah, Luaza yeah. takes it. This was tricky. Hawkmont jumped in first and guessed Bioshock. Incorrect. Ray Luaza takes it. This is, of course, Bioshock Infinite. I forgot that they did the whole thing of like, oh, remember water? But what if? And then it's like, it's not water. It's not water at all. I think this is a cool oh, reveal trailer. right. It's a shaky thing. Or is it? Is it a snow globe? No, no, no. It's just a, it's actually an aquarium. Oh, okay. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're being very excited. I remember seeing the, the or hearing about this when they brought it to the studio or to, to uh, Game Informer. Thinking yeah. About 2013, that seems like 90 years away. <laughs> well, I'm sure they wanted it to come up before 2013, but then it entered development hell. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Next one. Here we go. I have lived my life to the best of my ability, but I have not been able to escape fate. That is Leafeon guessing Assassin's Creed Revelations correctly. Congratulations, Leafeon, moving to the next round. Is that Matt Miller? Was that wrote it or voiced it? <laughs> that guessed it immediately. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a very distinct art style for Assassin's Creed where they had like, okay, the, the black theme, like the black, what's the animus? Yeah, like the black look to the animus. It was a cool art the direction. Desmond thing. Yeah, congratulations, Leafeon. Whew, killing it. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five left. Five more chances to get to the second floor. Y'all ready for this? Because I think we are. This could be 8,000 games so far. <laughs> then Tom was like, gets it. That is Halo 5. Man. Then Tom was I guess like, with any of these huge franchises, I'm sure there are those super fans who have just seen these trailers a million times. Yes, like, I've definitely done that with like a Metal Gear trailer. Like, you show me the first two seconds of any Metal Gear trailer, I'm going to know which one it is. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, congratulations! I if I saw this, I'm like, oh, I remember Master Chief in the desert. I don't remember if that was four or five, but congratulations to then Tom was like, moving out of the next round, the next floor in Trivia Tower, killing it. Texture pack for Journey. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Next cinematic reveal trailer. Ladies and germs. This is the day we've been waiting for. Years of training, years of sacrifice. This is for the jobs you streamlined, the debts you collected. This is for the homes you A lot of people guessing started. watchdogs. The people guessing took. every variation of watchdogs. Man, I time for a new forgot about this. <laughs> I remember hearing about this in explicit detail. But you will answer to us. No more hints, Dan. Get a book. People are just watching this. This is interesting. There it is. Hawkmont gets it. That is Rainbow yep. Six Patriots.
Rainbow I Six Patriots. I remember hearing about this. Did, did this get repurposed into Siege or anything, or did this just get completely killed? I think they took some tech and stuff and brought it into Siege, but by sure. and large, it was, it was a full reboot. But congratulations, Hawk Montez, Rainbow Six Patriots, the unreleased game. But they revealed that, and then also they had that like gameplay stretch, which I think leaked, and then they just released it publicly where you're on the bridge and you have to take out the citizen and all that stuff. And we did that cover story, right? <clears throat> that, that actually did come out, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> right, yeah, we did it. it. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. I visited that studio. and <laughs> Yeah, PR was, believe it or not, a little uptight on that trip. <laughs> like, please Weird. don't say, because that was a hot button issue. Not they political, though. though. Not a political game, just to be very clear. Right. Um, okay, I was about to say this one. I'm not going to say it. All right, next one. Here we go. That was it, folks. Now, here's something. Okay, I'm going to give it to J. Rez. It's Project Athia. The hell is Steven that? Stormbless said Athia. I think the project's important. So, J. Rez will give you this one. You're moving on to the second floor. That's Project Athia from uh, Square Enix. It's the former director of Final Fantasy XV. That team started that project years and years ago, and they teased it at the PlayStation 5 reveal stream. Um, wow. Wow. And then that is going to be, I think it leaked that it's coming out early 2021, but it seems very cool. So I understand huh. it's a stinker move, but congratulations. Oh, did huh. I say the wrong floor? Um, okay, here we go. There are three more left. Three left to move on to the fourth floor. Thank you, Adam, the mod. Okay, here we go. Magic and have me poking lines in the old market for one tenth the hassle of your empty venture. Do I see it? Why are we following him anyway? <laughs> I guess Elden Ring. That was it. That was all we're showing. You're welcome to reset what? and guess again. Whew. Dr. Ock has been typing for a while, really thinking about this one. This is a tricky one. There's no doubt about it. No I doubt definitely about it. do not... Uh... Recognize that. Let's watch it one more time. Drive it all over me gets oh, it. Magic and happy Drive it all over me gets it. That is Deep Down. Capcom's unreleased Deep Down with the reveal oh. of the PS4. Boy. Did that get canceled? Uh, yeah, it was eventually... They announced, or I believe it was leaked, that it was free-to-play. Maybe they announced it. It was going to be a free-to-play game. Everybody was so excited. It looked so amazing. Whew, drive it all over me. Congratulations. That was a very tough one. That was the toughest one of the entire round. Crazy so, to me when something that looks so expensive just gets totally scrapped without I know. a chance to like make any money, you know? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Okay, last one. Here we go. This is your last chance to get to the fourth floor of Trivia Tower. Here we go. The world's forge. The place where it all started. And it will all end. One error, and I came to life. That's all we're seeing. That's all we're seeing. A lot of people typing. There we mm. go. Dr. Rock gets it. Detroit become human. We'll take it. It's, become. It's become or beyond? It's become. Yeah. Become, yeah. Okay. It's become. It's just a normal name. Detroit become human. Yeah, normal name, normal game. That was the tagline. <laughs> that was the subtitle initially. <laughs> Hey, everybody. What's that guy's name? Who's Mr. Quantic Dream? David Cage, normal guy, <laughs> making a normal game. Roll the clip. All right, congratulations to Dr. Ock moving on to the fourth floor. Everybody, you did a great job. Everybody was here. BBK said he meant to say deep down, but he said darkest dungeon. They're very close. I totally understand <laughs> yeah, that. That's literally. confusing. All right, moving on to the fourth floor. New game. Here we go. Fourth floor. Coming right up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth floor of the Trivia Tower. It's getting high up here. You can look out the window, Dan. My God. I don't think the AC works up here. <laughs> All right. This is, Dan, do you have your phone out? Because this is where you got to come into play again. Yes. Okay. This is a game we like to call Cover Story Time. That is what we call it. Um, because, Dan, it's very tricky 
When you're trying to come up with ungoogleable things, you think, what video game things have never been on the internet? Aha, I know. Game Informer cover stories. Our beloved Game true. Informer. Everybody, please check out GameInformer.com or subscribe to Game Informer Magazine. These are the opening lines from Game Informer cover stories from throughout the years. We have omitted key words. They've been blacked out. You have to guess the name of the video game from this Game Informer cover story. <sighs> there so are, am I going to read? Is this like back of the box trivia where I'm going to read it until they guess it? Yes, you can go slow. So this okay. is, there are five questions here. I like this. All right, ready? All right, Dan has got the first one. Take it away, Dan. Okay. <clears throat> Can a major shift in tone help the blank series shed its dude bro stigma and live up to its potential as a destination co-op game? The early signs are good. The blank series is well known, though for less than enviable reasons. I felt like the first two blank games were good games, but they weren't great games, says producer blank in what could be considered a massive understatement. <laughs> the previous installments received Metacritic scores that hovered in the low to mid 70s, but even those C-grade ratings mask a serious amount of notoriety. The first game's macho posturing of performing high fives and silly moves in the midst of killing people was a distraction from the game's main draw, a focus on co-op multiplayer. Alex takes it. Army of Two, Devil's Cartel. <laughs> let's, let's hear it for Jeff Cork. Killing it, moving on to the fifth floor. Yeah, that, I love Jeff Cork's approach. I think that's genuinely amazing of opening the cover story for Devil's <laughs> Army of or Dam Army of Two Devil's Cartel by opening just being like, those two previous games sucked. We know they sucked. The developers have some mixed thoughts on them. New I development mean, team. Here we go. It was me and Cork on that trip, and I remember having several conversations with the developers where they were just like so you know acknowledging that like eh, uh, those first two games sucked, but we are Visceral, the company that's making Army of Two Three. Yeah. And then, and then there's nowhere on the fucking. And then when they're not there, there there's nowhere there. Um, but uh, we talked to that producer who had that quote, Zach Mumbach. Uh, I saw that. Yeah, we have an interview up on our uh, YouTube channel talking about what went wrong there and also some interesting stories just about working on Dead Space and all that stuff. Um, he's a very interesting developer. And he quit the game yes. industry because he got burned out and he just went to go really? work as an architect for a while. Wow. I remember because him being a really interesting dude during that yeah, trip. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Um, and then he went quite, back. Quite, and, quite a dude. <laughs> that's right. But they just released uh, uh, Airship kingdom is the name of their game but uh ah. check out that interview anyways all right next one here we go cover story time is the name of the game and i'm looking for the name of the game here for almost 25 years blank's mastery of action games has been as much a part of the company's success as its technical contributions to the industry with blank its games have almost always focused on white knuckle action from the hectic arena shooting of blank to the cover-based blank slaughter of blank. <laughs> what? For its next project, the studio isn't tossing its wealth of shooter experience aside. Countless bullets will still be fired in blank, but blank is expand. There it is, Dynasty Fortnite, baby. Uh, that is wait. wait, did I write that? Uh, no, that was Matt Burt's joint. Uh, they're expanding into and focusing on the strong elements of building, exploration, and character customization. You did a second Fortnite cover? You didn't? I thought Matt Burt wrote the Fortnite cover. You wrote the Fortnite cover? No, you were on that trip with me. I wrote that Fortnite cover. Oh, Matt Burt was just on it. He wrote the Unreal 4 section of that. That's right. Oh, that okay. was the Fortnite thing, and I wrote that, yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't, didn't realize that. <laughs> you didn't recognize the masterful prose? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, congratulations. We have, um, well, Dan, how many have we gone through? Two? Two. Okay. We got three more, three more chances to get to the next floor of Trivia Tower. Take it away, Dan. Okay. Here we go. Her raft carves through the fog with purpose. She is not an imposing figure. She is neither commanding nor fearsome, and yet she is ready to cut through an army of blank demons as she journeys to bargain with a god. Her name is Blank, and she is a Blank with nothing left to lose. The pouch on her belt contains the head of her deceased lover, a physical reminder of the painful task before her. Ray Luaza, her Ray, Ray Luaza takes it. Again, the confusing thing of not the full name, Dan, do you accept Hellblade? 
Yeah. Okay, Leafeon, God bless you for doing Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice. Trying to be thorough. I think in this case, we'll give it to Ray Luaza with Hellblade. Congratulations, Ray Luaza. Moving on to the next round. Whew. That one was a tough one. A, a lot of guesses, Heavenly Sword, Tomb Raider. But it seems they're like a raft and fog. Like when I think of Hellblade, like the only things I think of are like a raft and fog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then lying about if you die, like your game blows up or whatever. Oh, yeah. What was the Remember deal? They with said that? like the more you die, the more like her mental state gets worse until you can't finish the game. And then like three weeks later, they're like, we were kidding. I think that's kind of fun. Um, okay, here we go. Maybe it would have been fun if they actually did it. <laughs> Guess the name of the game Assassin, Killer, Thug, Savior, Terrorist. The hero's name is immaterial next to the labels players earn for themselves. However you approach your desperate quest to topple the fascists who have wrongfully imprisoned you and wrung your dying city dry, you'll have to break a few eggs to make this omelet, or will you? Dr. Ock takes it that is dishonored. Uh. Congratulations, Dr. Ock. Moving on to the next floor for Trivia Tower. I like that. Just uh, don't worry about the main character's name. I guess it's Corvo, but don't worry about it. <laughs> very, very cool pitch. All right, Dan. <laughs> How many more you got, I got, Dan? I got one here, and the writing seems masterful. Okay, this is I the last one. This is the last chance to make it to the fifth floor. Therefore, the final round of Trivia Tower. Okay, Dan, whenever you're ready, sir. Here we go. <clears throat> After finding success with the PlayStation exclusive franchises, blank and blank blank is venturing outside its comfort zone the development studio revealed its newest ip blank at e3 in 2011 featuring goofy humor and an art style reminiscent of team fortress 2 this multi-platform blank title created a buzz amongst shooter fans tired of realistic games that take themselves too seriously flash forward to over a year later and those same gamers are raising their eyebrows over the announcement that blank is now blank while the humor is less slapstick and the visuals changed, our recent time with the game at blank left us confident that the changes shouldn't concern those initially intrigued by the new title. J Rez. Believe... Oh, okay. J Rez takes it with Fuse from Insomniac. Deep Can't cut. Can't believe it took people a while to come up with Fuse. <laughs> I, it's always in the back of my mind, like maybe I should go play that co-op in Fuse. Cause it, 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 it gets a worse rap, I'm sure, than actually if we went back and played it. I'm sure it's fine enough playing co-op. I reviewed it, and I remember having a decent... I bet I gave that a 7.5. Uh, I remember kind of enjoying it. Yeah. But thinking it, it could have been a lot better if they stuck with the original art style. And I stuff. like the yeah, final paragraph of your intro being like, oh, they made it less fun, but actually it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, not so much. Um, it could have been cooler. Yeah, Overstrike was the original, game, original name right. for Insomniac's Fuse. Uh, right. Congratulations for everybody that made it to the fourth floor. Also, congratulations to everybody who made it to the fifth floor. Let's go give them a visit, Dan. Let's do it. We're here, we're here. It's the fifth floor. Um, up here. Congratulations, everybody in this floor. This is the floor where everybody wins a Ubisoft code. Congratulations. So we'll let you choose after the stream. So be sure to stay in this Discord channel and we'll divvy those out. Okay, five people remain, Dan. I see him. I see him on the fifth floor here. We got Alex. We have the Dynasty, Ray Luaza, Dr. Rock. Um, I forget who else is in here, but we appreciate you being in here. Dan, five have entered the fifth floor. Only one may leave. j -Rez. One question? One question. Dan, the game this time around is the old chestnut game case trivia. Hell yeah. Now, normally with Game Case Trivia, if you're the last one standing, you have to put your hands behind your head and say, I could get used to this. Dan, you know that lesson well. You've lost a thousand times. This time, not necessary. This is a different variation. Game Case Trivia, but because people can keep guessing, you're not out if you guess once. So keep those guesses coming. Okay. I'm going to say Dan when I know it, but I won't ruin it. Okay. I just want people to know that I know it. Okay. Um, I hope everybody in here is ready. May the best person win. The winner gets a 50 headset from Astro for a console of their choice. So the way this works, I'm reading the description from the back of a video game case slash box. 
you guess the name of the game when you think you know what it is. And you can guess as many times as you want, but obviously there is that 30 second timer. So let's be diligent. <laughs> yeah, Adam says, <laughs> Adam says you guys want to type any funny things now. Yeah, everyone's very serious. Okay, here we go, Dan. Okay. For all the marbles. Uh, that wasn't part of the clue. Okay, here It'd we go. It'd be funny if it was Marble Madness. That would be very funny. Quote, the best action slash platform game I've ever seen or played. This is from Die Hard Game Fan. Enter the vivid 3D world of blank. A blank on a mission. His brain's been scrambled. His girlfriend is held captive. And his arch nemesis has I, Ray Luaza, I think I gotta give it to you. That is Crash Bandicoot 1. Dan, do you think you gotta give it to him, right? If Crash 1 is what you're going for, then I think just saying Crash works. Yes, Ray Luaza, congratulations. You have won. That is Crash Bandicoot 1. The Dynasty, I appreciate you jumping in there as well with the full name. Details to work out. Let us know what you think in the comments about what we should count for next month's episode of Trivia Tower. Congratulations, Ray Luaza. Moving on, of course, to the Victory Lounge. May the victor go the spoils. You win the Astro A50 headset. But again, everybody that made it this far wins a code from Ubisoft. So congratulations to everybody in here. We appreciate uh, everybody competing in the first round of Trivia Tower. Let's go Let's go to the Victory Lounge now and, and speak oh. with Ray Luaza. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jazeera, for the Jeff Gork gift. <laughs> yes, Dan, we're in the Victory, Victory Lounge. Lounge. Uh, with that? with the winner Ray Luaza, Ray Luaza, if you're in here, please let us know. A private channel, my goodness. That's very secretive. Uh, Party up here. <laughs> congratulations, hey, Ray, Ray Luaza. Um, how sweaty are you, Ray Luaza? Please let us know how you're feeling. Um, and what was the hardest question? What was the scariest part of that thing? We love any feedback. Whew, extremely sweaty. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> well, I hope you are ready for a nice headset from Astro. Oh, the A50. Dan, what'd you think about the first episode of Trivia Tower? Certainly longer than yeah, I expected. Fun. Longer, but uh, I, I love any kind of trivia game show type thing, and you tie that up with some video game stuff. I, I was always so excited to do the, the box uh, trivia yeah. on the podcast, and so this is a fun uh, expansion on those ideas. I thought that was fun. Use yeah. some visual stuff that you can't do on a podcast. That was fun. Yeah, and we promise that next time around... Uh, at least the combination of Dan and the jukebox will not be invoked again. It has been officially no, canceled. <laughs> Never to come. Do the theme song. <laughs> well, what's the Tetris theme? Uh, 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 uh. It took uh, you a while. To, I just turned into a rare character. <laughs> Starbucks 64. Oh boy. Uh, yes, Dan's round was hell. We hear you, Ray Luazo, but congratulations <laughs> um, to everybody watching. Thank you so much. We appreciate your support on patreon.com slash minmax with two N's. Uh, if you want to compete next month, we'd welcome you to join. If you support us at any tier on Patreon, you can jump in the Discord. The Discord is uh, the best place on earth. Don't listen to Dan. He's always talking about his own Discord, but we have so many channels. We have the main one, the general, everybody sharing gifts of Leo with his cat, Leo. of course. Internet uh, famous Leo. That's right. Uh, we have people debating what's happening here in MinMax shows. The Better Quest channel where people give updates on how they're doing on their big monthly goals. Suggestions, feedback. We have a Backstage Pass channel where people vote on thumbnails, which is great. Also, we share links to all of our live streams. You can watch all of those live. Um, it's a wonderful place to meet new people, find people to play games with, and uh, it's not that intimidating. So if you support us at any tier, you get a link to... Oh, that's my face. It is. It's screaming oh, when Perfect Dark was announced. A good time there. Yeah. Um, so congratulations, everybody. Thanks so much, Ray Luaza. Uh, hats off to you, the ultimate trivia champion. And you, Ray Luaza, now have the Trivia Tower champion role throughout the entire month within the Discord. Ooh. So a shiny golden name to you, sir. Dan, thanks for being here, dude. Anytime. I enjoy doing stuff with the Min Max. That's great. Um, what would you like to plug, sir? I'll plug, uh, I'm just Dan Riker on everything. That's Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all that business, R-Y-C-K-E-R-T. Also, if you listen to the podcasts out there, panning the stream uh, on your podcast app of choice, it's me and my wife, Bianca, who's been on Min Max back on the, the Min Tracks days. Yeah. And uh, we just talk about stuff we watch on Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime, HBO Max, all that business. Uh, panning the stream is the name of it. Awesome. Dan, thank you. You've been very generous. We appreciate it. And thank you so much. That supports us. Thank you so much to everybody to 
jump into Trivia Tower. It's a weird thing to communicate, but I think it worked pretty well. But obviously, we'd love feedback for the next month, uh, what you want to see return, tweaks to the rules, all that stuff. Maybe we'll try and make it a little bit shorter somehow. We'll try our best to refine this thing because of the community support. We are a learning machine, as a wise man once said. Um, cool. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Be good, have fun. Let's go. Do you want to get your name or Twitch or YouTube channel in the description of everything we release? Record a podcast with us, put a picture of your choice on MinMax's TV, or a whole lot more? You can check out the benefits for supporting us on Patreon. If you support MinMax at any tier on Patreon, you can submit questions or comments for us to read on the air, and you'll also get access to the wonderful MinMax Discord. We need your help to keep this whole indie trainer rolling, so we'd appreciate it if you checked us out.